Hey guys, this is Small Talk here, and today we're in Mr. Johnson's class. Last week, we have this last week, we've been learning about a phenomenon called natural disasters and volcanoes and yeah, that stuff. We're so excited to learn something and have a little fun on the way. And what's a better way to than to erupt a volcano? Wait a minute. First, we have to learn how a volcano actually erupts. I mean, yeah, we could do some cool science stuff, but let's let's talk volcanoes. See, the ground is constantly moving. Like it's always moving. And underneath the ground is really, really hot rock. And as the hot rock gets closer to the surface, it turns into liquid hot magma. That's right. Underneath the ground, it's magma. Above the ground, it's called lava. But it's really the same thing. It's just melted rock. And all this pressure builds up underneath the volcano. And as the water pressure builds and the gas pressure builds, the magma decides it has to break forth from its constraints of underneath the ground and really just destroy a lot of stuff, right? That's how volcanoes work. That's like the short version. That's how it works. Can we just erupt the volcano now? I don't like your impatience, but I think we can just erupt the volcano right now. All right, so as you can see here, we have a little volcano. Now, most volcanoes are not made of plastic, but for our intents and purposes, this one will do just fine. We're going to pour the super secret solution into the volcano, and we're going to watch it erupt. Are we ready to go? All right. Volcano eruption occurs all the time. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Now, I know you might say that doesn't look anything like lava, and you're right. But that is exactly how a volcano works. The eruption builds, it bubbles over, it explodes, and then it runs everywhere. And if there were tiny little people in civilization around here, well, let's hope they all leave before it erupted. That's, that's how a volcano works, ladies and gentlemen. Well, see you next time. See you.